Okay, Marty, I got a quick second. Um, let me get down here. Um, so yeah, uh, this power transformer is obviously a replacement, um, as is the output transformer, uh, which looks like uh, a Vibrolux reverb model from 1966, totally appropriate. And um, let me turn her around. Uh, we still have to look underneath this doghouse. We'll do it together. Totally excited about that. Um, so yeah, this, this work was not done by the factory on this output transformer. Uh, and obviously the same thing with the power transformer. There are no uh, service stamps on the back, which I uh, was asking you if this might have been something that was um, bought out of town and then shipped in. So there's that. Um, this is this unit should be 1962 or thereabouts. Um, the choke, you can see the nice little uh, paper interleaved uh, transformer here. Um, that is from the tenth week of. 1962, which is awesome, completely appropriate. So you have to ask, you know, the things that killed this iron, is it still inside of the amp? Does it still exist? The potential, does the potential for, for this iron to be damaged beyond repair, is, is it still here? And yeah, it is. Um, at, at least um, in the form of maybe some suspicious tubes. But let's get underneath this doghouse cover here and see what these caps look like. You know, I keep telling people, and they never believe me, that the, the most interesting part of the job, besides the eccentric folks that you can sometimes meet, is, is the the untouched gear. Because you, you got to think, the last person that saw the inside of this filter pack board was the dude assembling it or the lady assembling it back in 62. So it's always a mystery. You just never know what you're going to find when you're working on these, when you're working on these amps. Let me guess. Son of a bitch. Do not open. Like should I even, oh, these caps are bad. I'll, I'll show you why. It's actually the worst I've ever seen. Um, hell. So, uh, let's just look at this. Do not open. I already know. Yeah. November 12th, 1965. Terrible handwriting. Frank, it's me again. You from the past. Enjoy working on this hand wired gem it's the last one you'll see for a long time ha ha there's a guy up here named randall smith he's cool and i told him to give you hell p p s stop making those lame home movies see ya sucker frank what a douche what a waste of time Anyway, let's get down here and look at these caps. You see that? That's not cauliflower. No, no. The, uh, the material inside of these electrolytic caps, the electrolyte itself, um, has started erupting out of the vents, and every one of them has the funk. We need to get these out of here. Some of these... Are, are, are probably, well, they're obviously physically leaking. They're probably electronically leaking as well. You know what we're going to do? Let me break this off. Um, actually, I don't even need to. Let me just see if I can. Oh, hell. We're going to put each one of these up on the old Syncor, and we're going to test them individually and, and see if they're physically leaking or electronically leaking, rather. And I think that'll be super interesting. That'll be a good use of our time. And I'm actually really excited to do that. But yeah, take a look at this horror. Absolute horror show. Need to get these guys out of there. So I'll give you a jingle. Um, I, I've got uh, the parts all pulled. 
and, uh, and then we'll move forward from there. Take care.